People always say you shouldn't believe everything you see on TV. Even reality TV isn't entirely real. Much of it is exaggerated for the camera, if not scripted or even 100% fake. Welcome back to Tuna No Crust, and today we're looking at 10 car shows with varying degrees of phoniness. For your convenience, we're going to try to list these from least fake to most fake. Here are our criteria for fakeness, just so we're all on the same page. How much was scripted? Are relationships accurately portrayed? Was there network interference? How much was exaggerated? How much was cut or edited? Do the stars know what they're doing? Did anyone get hurt? If you already have a worst fake car show in mind, watch till the end to see if we cover it. If we don't, leave a comment below. Maybe it'll get its own video. A lot of the shows we're about to list already have videos on this channel. We'll link them when we can. But let's get moving and drive through some of the fakest auto shows you'll ever see. Top Gear The Grand Tour Top Gear and The Grand Tour are among the best auto shows out there. The banter between Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May is 100% authentic. With praise like that, many fans are shocked to learn how much of the show is scripted. Sometimes laugh tracks were added to jokes that didn't land right. Yes, so that you've got something to reverse up to. I need to drill some holes for your eyes. You bloody don't. <laughs> the crew is careful to not let the hosts near live firearms. This is pretty basic for reality TV, and what is authentic really shines. fast and loud. This is near the bottom of the list for a reason. There's nothing fake about the cars or repair jobs on fast and loud. The show didn't start fake, but more and more aspects of the show became scripted as time went on. The deadlines were always planned in advance, and they never missed a deadline. Fast and Loud's fakeness mimics a lot of small business getting big situations. They started out fighting to keep their doors open, but the show got more fake as it became more commercial. They're open about what's scripted and what isn't, so they get a point for honesty. We scour the countryside for that barn that hadn't been open in 50 years. We drag out that badass rod, we bring it here, we make it fast and loud, we sell it for a profit. Better than seeing a baby panda being born. Graveyard Cars There's a lot that's real about Graveyard Cars, a muscle repair show that's set in Welby's Car Care in Springfield, Oregon. The parts and repairs are all 100% authentic. Even the arguments are all real. So why does Graveyard Cars wind up on so many fake lists? The answer is that a lot of scripting and editing go into every episode. But sometimes even that's not enough. The team occasionally stages scenarios such that everyone except a given person knows about an event. The fake event led to a real reaction. That's awesome. <laughs> you don't have to keep, no, you don't have to keep doing it. Let off the effing button. Let off the button. American Chopper We also have a few videos on American Chopper on this channel. The bike shop is real, these technicians know their stuff, but that doesn't mean everything was real. The network saw the real father-son conflict as a selling point and wanted the pause to amplify it. This fake drama might have led to real drama between them, possibly prompting the shop split that the network also milked. You can script a show so cut and dry that a robot could write it, but tearing a family apart for the sake of drama? Not cool. Yeah, we're yeah, part in this thing. We're not involved here. Let me tell you something. If I wasn't involved, this would go to it would burn to the days of death. Overhauling. We've covered Overhauling on this channel before. It stars the legendary Chip Foose and is about the hosts stealing a car only to secretly revamp it into the car of the owner's dreams. The show has been criticized for being both fake and formulaic. To be fair, if it wasn't that phony, the show wouldn't work. All right, open your eyes. <laughs> oh my God, is he gonna cry? I think he's crying. Amazing, amazing, oh my God. Counting Cars. Counting Cars is a spin-off of the show Pawn Stars, which was filmed in Las Vegas and aired on the History Channel. The show centers on the goings-on at Count's Customs Garage. 
If this sounds familiar, it should. It is in the vein of Fast and Loud, but counting cars is truly hokey. All of the encounters are scripted. Who would stop for a supposed car expert when driving? Moreover, Danny the Count Coker, the host, was wrong so frequently that his script had to be proofread for accuracy. Diesel Brothers Here's where things start getting really shifty. First, the Diesel Brothers are not really brothers. Heavy D and Diesel Dave are good friends who have many things in common. In another small deception, the show is sponsored by Patriot Tires, an all-American brand made in Taiwan. This is all nothing compared to a fire that happened off-camera. When a Duramax truck was set ablaze, the network told them to recreate the accident. The second fire was more dangerous than the first. This show loses major points for endangering lives for the sake of entertainment, more so than other shows about vehicle repairs and racing. But the most surprising fake thing was not their fault. Texas Car Wars Have you ever wanted to see the Backstreet Boys repair a car? Neither would most people, but Texas Car Wars basically did that. They gave four actors a car show. None of them had mechanical experience and everything was scripted. It's hard to get faker than that, right? Pimp My Ride It was a close call between Texas Car Wars and Pimp My Ride for number two. One of them may as well have used a boy band, the other used an actual rapper who didn't know how to work with cars. I don't fix shit on the show! You never seen me fix shit! You never seen me with one tool on the show! You saw me at the beginning and saw me at the end! You never saw me in the middle! The show was more about making the cars gaudy than roadworthy. Everything was fake, all the tears and awestruck reactions were acting. <laughs> there are top 10 lists about what was fake about Pimp My Ride. Spoiler, the only thing that was real was that Exhibit could rap. Social media, especially Twitter, blew up upon learning how much of the show was fake. And yet, many people enjoyed the cheese. For one brief shining moment, they and their cars were famous. Exhibit is supposedly a pretty nice guy. If so many people hadn't been enjoying it, the revelations of how fake everything was would not have blown up how they did. In the end, Pimp My Ride was nudged here because some of the modifications were dangerous and or illegal. There were also reports of mistreatment on set, and the producers had the final say regardless of if the client wanted a feature, such as a candy jar, or not. While we'd love to end on this positive note, there is one show that is phonier but doesn't have the fame or goodwill that Pimp My Ride had. And that show is Dallas Car Sharks. If you haven't heard about Dallas Car Sharks, there's a reason. It's widely considered one of the worst auto shows of all time. There's nothing real about Texas Car Sharks. You've never seen them sell the car. The prices make literally no sense. Sometimes they even swap out vehicles by the end. If there's literally nothing about a show that is real, it has to top the list of fakes. Look here, guys, T-I-5, I got an 08 Ferrari, 430, guys, now 25. Do you have enough to pay for this car? 95, it'll be 925, now 95,000. Oh, you bid? 975. It's a dagger. 125, it'll be 105, 105, 105. Sell it. But what do you think? Was Texas Car Wars worse than Pimp My Ride? How far should reality TV shows go for the sake of entertainment? What would you do for 15 minutes of fame? Did we miss a show that you would have put on the list? If so, where would you rank it? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. See you for the next wild ride.